Hello everybody, this is how to make the ultimate TV antenna revised. This is PVC fence. Now, when I started making them a long time ago, I was making them out of wood. And this wood right here is just as good as this, as this uh, PVC. Live will even be better. But, see, I sell them, I make and sell them and install them and all that. And this don't look too professional to somebody that's buying one. Now, like I say, this right here is just as good. Now, remember I told you I had made, tried composite before, and, it, and when it got wet, it would ground out. This right here is one of the ones I made. I dipped it down in water and found out it wouldn't work. These right here. Is both the same kind of wood. Do you know what the difference in the color is? Why the color difference is what I mean. This one right here has got motor oil on it. Let me show you this right here. Boys, don't laugh. It'll be him. What's this? <laughs> hey, that right there is better than some water seal or anything like that has ever been and they know it they just don't want you to know it i got this right here oil sprayed on my front porch see this you know it it it'll go into the wood it'll soak into the wood now you can follow along with me and uh look at that <laughs> you can follow along with me and uh, you can make yours out of wood. There ain't there ain't nothing wrong with it. I'm, I'm telling you, they ain't. I actually sold a few of them, but okay. Now, if you know, I'm gonna make it out of this. If you gonna make you one antenna, you can look this right here up. This is something about ultimate TV antenna update, and this right here is the best thing to do. And it's the right amount right here for your, uh, you know, for your reflector. So it's the perfect amount, and, and I'll show you how to do everything. Oh, by the way, that's on my big channel, Danny S. Hodges. And you see, I'm using these, and uh, let me show you what that is. It's this right here. That man, the man that gets me this stuff. He gave me some of this. He gave me a bunch of stuff. And I just found out it works real good. And this is that PVC stuff, too. I don't know how much it costs, but I know it works real good. And the reason I like to do it because it's flat. That's the reason. But uh, this right here is probably more than likely what you're going to be using. You know, you can go in the home store and just buy two foot of this. They got a little, they got a little section where they got them cut. And you want to uh, take this, you want to get you a flat spot one way or another. Now, I got a sander over there. I got all kind of stuff. But you can just simply take this out on the driveway and scrape you a flat spot. You don't have to do it four of them. I mean, man, it won't take ten minutes. Y'all, I had some other videos I wanted to put on first. But I seen an old man copying my videos. Word for word, he ain't doing all the testing I've done. But uh, he's showing you like the I, like the old Ultimate Antenna. He ain't showing you like with the updates like what I'm fitting to show you. I'm going to put one of these pieces right here. And I'm going to make a mark right here. And then I'm going to put my ruler on here and come down and mark nine and a half inches and rather than trying to get fancy I'm gonna come down and mark another nine and a half uh, that's the way I used to try to get my men to measure you know the ones that couldn't measure too good anyway do like that now the next thing you do you want to scratch this up I'm gonna show you now I'm gonna use this but you can use anything you want to scratch it up a little bit
And what I'm doing is I'm mixing up some epoxy. You know, that man, he's representing my antenna. He ain't saying nothing about me. But he's, he's showing you about my antenna. Boy, <laughs> he's quoting me word for word. He's just doing the old, the old antenna. I know a lot more than I did a year ago, boy. And I know a lot more than I did two years ago. I found out all kind of stuff. Alright, I got this mixed up. And what I'm going to do is, and I, I scratch this side up too. And you can do it with a screwdriver or anything, you know. What about this right here? I just wipe it on this. When you're doing this, just take all your pieces. And if you'll notice, I got them pieces doubled up. And that ain't what I usually use, y'all, but uh, I just done it just for the video. I don't know why I done it, but I just done it. It's, it, it's real easy, I, I guess. But it's just uh, lay all your pieces above the line. All right, while that's drying, let me show you this. Uh, you know, I used the epoxy on that. But look right here at this one. That's a uh, liquid nail. But see, like, I make a bunch of these, you know. And the liquid nail, it takes a while to dry. I probably got, I probably got 50 of these or 60 or something. There's all my antenna pieces right there. Y'all, I'm a serious antenna maker and put up her in this town. I ain't joking. I ain't somebody that watches somebody's videos and then show you how to make a TV antenna from watching somebody's video. And that would be embarrassing to me because, man, everybody's going to find out, you know. Now, what I'm going to do now is I laid this ruler up here. And I'm going to, uh, I got it pretty straight. <laughs> I'm going to mark me some lines here. And you don't have to glue your antenna. I glue them because of, I got a reason why I glue them. The antenna will hold itself straight. You don't have to worry about that. I, I, I'll tr try to sh show you why it holds itself straight, if I can remember. Alright. Now I'm going to drill this. Hey, I ain't get down to measure right where the center is. As long as you put it close, that's all that matters. Alright? Now, I'm going to uh, screw this down. And I'm using some roofing screws and, and uh, you know, like uh, metal, metal roofing screws. And man, they work real good. They got that, that new Supreme washer on the end of it. And I'm going to put some notches in this. Uh, the old man that showed you how to make the video, he didn't notch this out because he's seen my old video. And now I think you can do like this with a rat tail file, or that grinder will do it, or this kind of saw will do it. But, but you'll see what I'm talking about. And see these notches I put in there? Let me show y'all the number one antenna I got. It's on that big channel. That right there is the number one antenna that I got right there. I figured I'd show y'all this. It's day two. This is the reason I glue it down is, 
is because I pass it through here and it'll snatch this. That's the reason I glue them. I figured I'd tell you all that. And that's just a skill saw. And this raised just the right amount. And I usually cut about a hundred of these and put it back up. This is how you straighten your wire. Put it in the vise. I'm going to turn this that much. Look at it. It's day two, y'all. See these pajamas? All right, I got me two 30-inch pieces that go here. And uh, I got me uh, eight 20-inch pieces for the whiskers. And what I'm going to do, find my marker, is I'm going to mark this at uh, 10 inches. You see my mark right there? And the trick to this is get above the mark. See that? And then I'm going to bend it over. You want your mark to be your corner. And see how I'm holding my thumb close right here to this right here? If you hold your finger up here, it'll make it rounded. And uh, you'll figure out that if you get to making as many as I do, You'll figure that out, but it'll take you a little while. I'm just kind of showing you a secret. And when you stand it up, if you don't kind of do it the way I showed you, it's liable to be this way or this way. And it's according where you bend it. See how I got my bend just right? Okay, lay your pieces on there. You want to mark them where the whiskers goes. And let me tell y'all something. I ain't told y'all a story in a long time. I'm, I decided I'm going to tell y'all one. Don't let it move, you know. But you know that. <laughs> All right. And I'm going to take this one right here. Make sure that's okay. And I'm going to hold my finger right here. And I'm going to just simply do that right there. Okay, let me line that back up. And I'm going to mark this one in the center too. And you do the other end the same way. I was four sheep from last Tuesday. And my wife said, I can beat you at chess right now. Boy, we got up there. You know, I beat her every, I beat her every time, you know. And, uh, and like, even when I'm four sheets from, we from Wednesday, I'm still smart. And, uh, while we was playing, I got to not want to beat her, you know. And she messed around there and made a move that was going to make me beat her. But she didn't see it. And, uh, I was standing there looking at the board, you know, like kind of trying to figure out what to do. And, uh, I took the board and flipped it over upside down like I was mad. And, boy, she got the biggest kick out of that you know, beating Big Daddy, you know. I never told her, I never told her no difference, you know. When I flipped that chessboard upside down like I did, it actually done two things. I was scared she was going to see what she done. You see, I got that hot, too hot there, talking. But, uh, it's all right. But I did get it too hot. And, uh, and the little, and, and, uh, Y'all, this right here is the same as one of them little torches. This thing right here will just get her done fast. But little torches, same thing, but you want to make sure you get it hot where your solder ain't gumming up. You know what I mean? She sat there telling all my buddies about me beating her. And see, not only do I want it in between, I want the solder on top, too.
Now, this is the way the copycat old man done it. He done it like, uh, like my old ones. He had it like this. Well, I learned a lot in two years. You see, this little, this little torch will do the same thing. This is a benzomatic. And, but this is the one I take out on the road with me. And this is a $50 one. But, uh, you know, I, I not only do my antennas, I do everybody, you know, factory antennas too. Now, the copycat old man, I seen him make a crucial mistake. I went and he he done that video from two different videos. And I went and looked at my video. And I see why he made the mistake. I had figured something out, but I had forgot to put it on the the video that I made. The hundred mile shootout video. But uh and I'm gonna show you in just a second. Let me, let's screw these down. Ow. These is going all the way through, y'all. Okay. And I'm going to... Uh, And you want to take these and spread these out. You don't want them touching. And you want it to look good, man. Especially if you're going to sell it. Now, it, it can look rough and, uh, and, and still do good. But if you're going to sell them, they got to look good, boy. Now, let's pretend like this is two antennas. This is an antenna here. I didn't... I done sold everything I got nailed down, y'all. When that man made that video, he had this antenna, a gap in here. And see, I got a video that's got a gap in here like this. Might not be quite that much. But when I was doing that 100-mile shootout, I, I worked on that for three days. Not on the video, I tested for three days. But I found out that, like, with the with the uh with the two reflectors touching was the best combination for the signal strength. If it's out here it's the signal's less. And I mean it's a, a right smart less. And I even took it might put it closer like this, you know, to try it. And it's worse like that. It works the best when it's just like that. The copycat old man, see, he don't know that because he ain't done everything I've done. I'm going to do it with this, y'all. I left my ladder in the house. I'm going to burn it, and then I'm going to pull the ends off of it. And then I also split this in the middle like that, see? This right here is the best way to do it, y'all. I'm going to put some stuff on there. I'm going to take this and wrap it around the center. Uh, nothing won't beat this right here, y'all. This right here is is better than anything. I'll do this with my little gun. Uh, don't, don't put your soldering gun on your wire. And them two, them two uh, whiskers I got too hot while ago, I'm going to have to uh, replace them. But uh, I do that every now and then. Alright. And see, just do your other side the same way. Let that cool. And then stretch it over there. And that right there won't never mess up. That man, probably most antennas, that's what messes up is is something not touching. Now in the earlier days, I used to have one of these in, in the uh center. It you see what I'm talking about. It, it ain't fitting under there real good. But Anyway, uh, it's kind of hard to, with the ends on it, it's kind of hard to get this down. And then what I was trying to say a minute ago is nothing won't beat that right there. 
And also, I'm going to take you over here to, to the truck and show you one. You want to make sure that this is not blowing in the wind, even if you use that thing. You want to wire tie this down. I'm going to show you mine over here. And see, this is one on. This is one I've got on the truck. See how I got it wire tied down? You don't want that flapping in the wind. And you know it'll hold up a long time. You know, but but boy, it'll get you one day. You know. You look at this, and, and uh, I'll show you how I fix my truck where I can haul these long poles. See that thing I welded on there? That's how I long my. And I got it just laying on the on the hood on the cab right here and then I got a ladder but that's how I that's how I do it and I keep I try to keep an antenna ready to go all the time now if you can find these pieces this is the same thing as the backbone and it's to just the right amount I got three of them only I didn't put two of them on there and uh I'm only putting one screw in it for now show you they all of them just like that for for right now but just in case you're doing it out of wood or something that's about four inches is what you want now here's my reflector and i figured out you can hang it off the, off of a table like this and and heat it down like that and I got a metal break where I do mine, y'all. I was walking in the house to, to go look at this, what I just said. Look at this roll of wire right here. That's my reflectors. All right, I need to show you this. See these screws I got? You know, I told you I didn't put one screw in this for temporary. But whenever I screw my reflector down, it'll go all the way down into this. So it's double holding. And let me tell y'all. I didn't have nobody's video to go look at to learn how to do it. This right here, all you see, it took me a while to figure all this out, boy. Take your uh, reflector and center it up. And let me tell y'all something. I think it's low to copy somebody's video and people's comment about, thank you for sharing your knowledge. And it ain't even his knowledge that he shared. He shared my knowledge. I, I just think that's low, man. If you want to look me up on Facebook, I've, got a, I've made friends with a bunch of, of YouTube people, you know. And they, they ask me questions and stuff, you know. Yeah, but uh, it's Danny S. Hodges. I'll put it there on the screen for you. I want you to like this video, and I'm, I'm going to tell you one more thing. But I want you to like and subscribe my video uh, for more videos like this. And I wasn't even going to do this video yet. I was going to do this video, y'all, but I had other videos I wanted to do first. But, man, I had to defend my antenna. And you know how I was talking about this antenna hold it, it'll hold it straight. Man, that reflector, it'll keep it from bending that way. It'll keep it from bending this way. Uh, the reflector and the backbone will keep it from bending this way. I mean, this, man, this right here is so well planned out. You wouldn't believe it. I mean, if you, like, just stood there and studied on it, you know, and looked at it, this son of a gun is a good one, boy. And look here. This ain't just the best homemade antenna you can get. This is the best antenna you can get, period. Thanks, everybody.